You know, like if you think of your favorite restaurant, nothing fancy, like the hole in the wall kind of place. Um, for me, it's always their French onion soup. Like I love French onion soup. Cheese, the crust, the onions, floating right on the bottom. I mean, it's just that salty, rich flavor. Um, and I've seen so many different recipes of different ways to bring the French onion flavor to the plate. And I loved this, I kind of tweak a little bit to be what I want. Of course, why would I just go with it? Um, but we're gonna do rolled chicken thighs, stuffed French onion style. Now I've done other things with French onion, but I'm going to caramelize onions, bacon, garlic, a little bit of spinach, because you need to throw the veggie in there, and roll and stuff these chicken thighs and melt a shitload of cheese all over the top. You don't need to use um, chicken thighs if you don't like thighs and you want to eat breasts instead, you can. Um, my secret weapon in this recipe is going to be the Lipton onion, French onion. I use this for so many different things, but I mix that with some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, a little bit of onion um, powder, salt, and pepper. And then I have my Worcestershire, a little bit of my balsamic glaze. It's the secret to sweeten up those onions. Some parsley, like I said, I had leftover chopped bacon in my fridge. So I'm just gonna add it, because bacon, onions, cheese, and chicken. Yes, please. First thing we have to do to start is get our chicken marinating. So I have my seasoning pack already done. I'm going to use my good old Ziploc baggie, and I already cleaned the thighs. Um, just trimming up any extra fat I left a little bit on because it does get a little bit of flavor. We're gonna throw these in the bag with our seasoning pack. I put in half now and then half at the top of the bag so it gets evenly spread throughout. And I'm gonna add probably, here's my dry hand. One, two, three, four, five, five count of olive oil, just to soften up the marinade mix. We're gonna seal this bag up. Gotta wash our hands. But we're gonna shake them up, marinate them. While this marinates, we need to make our filling because the filling is gonna get rolled in the chicken, it's gonna go in our casserole dish, so no problems there. Ooh. Like, like shake and bake, and I hope. We're gonna get ready on the prep over here to caramelize um, the filling, well, the onions and make the filling. So we're doing, it's um, one stick of salted butter this time, because you gotta think about it, French onion does have a good amount of seasoning, um, and all I had at home was salted butter, so I was trying to make it the reason why, but all I had was salted butter at home. So we're gonna melt that down. We're gonna add our onions and our garlic. And then that is a little bit of Worcestershire with our balsamic that I make a reduction. Um, chopped bacon, fresh parsley, and we'll get these going. Something so enjoyable about the sizzle when you cook. Yes. Mm. Yeah. It means you're doing something right, I feel like. So I'm taking my spoon, breaking up big chunks of onions. And then I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit because I don't want these to burn. I want them to caramelize, be nice and sweet, and release all those flavors. Come here, Mr. Onion. Here we go. I don't have to add the bacon and the spinach. I'm just trying to bulk it up and make it like a full meal. Um, but as you can see, my uh, my onions got a little hot spot, so I have to keep moving them around. So I'm really not going anywhere right this second. So I'm just gonna keep stirring. I'm actually gonna add in my garlic right now. Don't mind the one-handed glove. Because I was about to start doing the chicken. Oh my god, that's it. Oh! Okay, so my onions are looking dark. I'm gonna add my bacon. Now remember my bacon was cooked already. Um, and then this is my balsamic reduction with a little bit of Worcestershire. And the reason I do it is, A, it has some sugar in it. It helps pull all the sugar out of the onions starts to really caramelize these and add some sweetness. So as soon as it looks like this, you can see how around the pan, I suggest you to get a non-stick or a cast iron. We're gonna add in our spinach, which obviously you know, if you have a bag of spinach this big, it makes this much spinach. So, you can add in small, bat, small handfuls, and I'm gonna use tongs to kind of turn it so that the onions get mixed in with 
the spinach. So my onions are cooking in the back, they're caramelizing, and I just wanna get ready. So I'm taking my chicken thighs out of the um, bag. I put a piece of foil because I just wanna work smarter and cleaner. I'm opening up the chicken thighs and kind of spreading them out so that they're one long piece. Um, if any of the seasoning got stuck, do I have a glove on? Kind of making it its own square because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna stuff it, fold it over. I'm gonna toothpick these because I have my casserole dish. Casserole, I'm using an aluminum tray dish actually. Um, some thighs are a little longer than others, but it's okay, space them out. Use your glove to really spread the marinade all over them. Should be able to fit all of these on my piece of foil. And then I think my onions need probably another four minutes before I add the spinach and the bacon. So I think we're, we're rolling along really good on time here. Our feeling is delicious. Um, we're adding it right into a bowl. And I'm gonna add some fresh herbs, only half of it, because the other half I'm gonna use to garnish. We're gonna use one egg. The only reason I'm adding egg is there's gonna be cheese, but I want a little bit of a binding agent, and around a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. So we wanna make this filling. Here we go. And the rest of the breadcrumbs we're gonna add on top to bake it. We want the filling to hold together and have the cheese. I'm gonna use provolone, you can use gruyere, you can use Swiss, you can use cheddar, you can use whatever you want but I want to use provolone, so I'm gonna use provolone. Super cheese happy, as we all know. So I'm gonna put one slice of provolone down on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put one on top before I roll it, or at least half a piece when I roll it on top, just to make sure that, you know. Okay, filling's all done. Use a spoon, put the filling right in the middle of each chicken, right on top of that cheese. You wanna kinda of spread it out, you can if the pieces are bigger than others. But I would evenly put one spoon on each, and then for this recipe that I did, if you have any left over, which might be less than half a cup, divide it between them all. Make them full, make them bulk. The reason I'm really loving this recipe right now is because this has become, don't mind this, but this has become like a olive, um, onion jam, like cooked down marmalade sweet with the salty like it is all on point over here so look like no filling left they're not overstuffed you're gonna put a piece of provolone I only have enough I think for a half a piece for each piece and then we roll so the chicken you want to take it pull it over use your fingers to stuff use a toothpick pinning it down stuffed right in my casserole dish I'm going toothpicks up I'm gonna line them up um, there's a little bit of olive oil, sea salt, breadcrumb, and parsley. I'm gonna get them in the oven for around 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm 35. Not 30. Let's go with 30 and then I check them. 30 at 375. All right, all of our chicken is rolled and stuffed. A little bit of olive oil, black pepper, doing a little bit of the breadcrumbs. That's why I added the olive oil, just to toast them up. Um, oh yeah. Oh, you know what I forgot? The Parmesan cheese, so I gotta just add a little parm. Well, can we get me the Parmesan cheese, please? <laughs> and a little parsley. The cheese with the breadcrumbs, today. Let's go! All right. Cheese with the breadcrumbs. It's gonna be a great flavor, there we go. And our French onion stuffed chicken thighs are going in the oven. I just took these out of the oven. I'm gonna pull the toothpicks and let it rest for a minute. But can we just talk about that cheese? Can we just talk about that cheese? Look at that filling. Look how stinking beautiful. And all you gotta do, look at this. It's such an easy trick when it comes to stuffing chicken. Instead of tying it and struggling, pull these out and look, you would never know. We baked in the casserole dish, make a side potato, make Couscous makes something I don't know, but I'm so excited for all this cheese. I mean, these look amazing. Um, I'm gonna scoop one out. Oh my god, hold on. I might need assistance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
I'm gonna can't wait to cut into this. Oh, I cannot wait. Look at that. I'm going right in for it. Uh, Stabbing my chicken thigh down the middle. Can you just see how perfectly stuffed that ended up being? Screaming French onion, and it's so cheesy. I actually had to let it cool down for a minute because the cheese was so hot. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Holy cow. That is hands down amazing. Wait till you try this at home. Hands down. Amazing.